Warning, I swear a lot. Hi guys, welcome back to XCOM. So when last we left off, things were actually going quite well, right? Like, like my troops saved the entirety of Canada, the entirety of it by rescuing about seven people and killing some aliens. I'm not complaining, that's a pretty good result. End of the day, we still need engineers. We need two more if we want to expand our satellite production capabilities. And uh, just, I don't know where the fuck we're gonna get them. When the end of the month rolls around, we're only gonna get one. So I don't know what to do. All we could do is scan for activity and hope for the best. Our tech is not progressing nearly fast enough. We've got the genetics lab now. That's something. I have three credits though, so I don't think I can use it really. Oh, oh let's have a look though. Let's let's visit the gene lab. See if we can. Just don't understand. Uh, so adaptive bone marrow is handy for literally any soldier. It doesn't matter what your role is. Just having lowered wound recovery time and being able to regenerate health is great. Depth perception would be really useful for Echo, for instance. Hyperactive pupils would have been useful for Robinson if she was still alive because she could shoot twice in a single turn. We don't have enough money Commander, to do any of that. Oh my god, Valen, stop talking at me, stopped. I swear. I'm gonna sell five sectoid corpses because we we go through those like toilet paper. I'm gonna give Echo death perception because I think that could make a big difference. If she's hitting her shots each time, she will take I care of all the problems. There we go. Stop it, Valen, for God's sake. I've been playing XCOM 2 recently. I downloaded a bunch of mods, and one of the mods I'm using decreases the amount of fucking chatter when you're just doing stuff, and it has made such a fucking difference. And going back to this, where they just keep jabbering dialogue at you every two seconds is unbearable. Of course, there was an abduction Commander, before that finished. We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the hollow globe. Okay, so Asia, Europe, and South America. We might need to go to South America. Satellite Europe, Europe's doing all capacity. right. Additional uplink required. Uh, India is not happy. But if I want to go ahead with what I wanted to do in the first place, I'm going to need to keep South America on the board. Oh, but Europe would get me the engineers I need. That just gets me another sniper sergeant. Fuck it, I've committed to it. I know I've got my ideas and I'm gonna keep doing them. That is what's gonna happen. So, this is a decent squad. This is a decent squad. All right, Delgado, make it happen. We can do it, probably. I don't know. Depends how fast the aliens are progressing, really. If they're really pushing up, then we're gonna have trouble. But if it's still float as sectoids and thin men, we might be alright. Doesn't help that we're going in without our star sniper. But to be fair, the reward for this mission is going to be an experienced sniper. So having additional snipers will just help us. You know, Echo's been doing so well. Having someone else who can perform to a similar degree would be invaluable. Okay, so I guess we're gonna want to take this real fucking slowly. On my way. Just go to light cover for now. Visual Fucking visual. God, why are you like this? Alright, fine. You act like I don't have contingencies for this sort of thing. I do. Bump her up to heavy cover, bring her within range for a good shotgun blast. 76, 24. I mean, it's a pretty obvious choice, isn't it? Go on. Go on, boy. You know what? You hit him. And I gotta respect that. If your pistol has a 53% chance, we could try with that. Yeah, do it. Go on, go on, go on. Nice! Alright, one dead already. Hey, it's a good start. What it is, is a good start. That's what I'm saying. We've got three heavies on this mission. Why have I done that? But we'll have them all overwatch. It'll be a lot of firepower going out. If we can take these two out with no problems, that will help us in this mission immensely, because it just lowers their numbers. Yeah, that wasn't within range of our people. Now, of course, uh, Boar is in a great position, perhaps, to push up and attack that thing, but if she pushes up too far, whatever else is on the map is going to give her a hard time. Nevertheless... I feel like I might be overextending her a little bit, but if she can just pop this motherfucker like a goddamn cherry... Oh, I mean, she did hit. We get damn... Do you think she'll be able to see it from there? There's only one way to find out, I suppose. She can. Go on, damn, take the shot. Go on, go on. You're a champion. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you fucking are. I feel kind of bad, because Boar hasn't gotten a single kill yet. She's just 
soften them up for Dayum to kill. But it's good for Dayum, I guess. Helps her level up. All right, it's going well. We've already killed two floaters. Mission's practically in the bag. Don't even worry about it, boys. We can go home for coffee and donuts. Everyone loves coffee and donuts. I don't even like coffee, and I like coffee and donuts. I want that meld canister. But let's make sure it's not an ambush. It's not looking like an ambush. Go on, boy. Seems fine. Seems fine. Happy with that. I have a rough idea where the rest of the aliens are going to be. I've played this map many fucking times, but they can move around a little bit. You do have to be careful. Oh, fucking God, no. Crap. Oh, we're going to need to get Boar back towards the rest of the squad ASAP. She's in danger. Get to there. There we go. Everyone's back together. We're just going to throw down some sneaky overwatches. If those stupid fucking things decide to try and jump us, they're not going to enjoy it. Give us a try. No. Wasted my fucking time. We're going to do another round of Overwatch. We literally have no reason to push forward. There's only one meld canister left. We already have a bunch of meld. And we don't have a lot of gene implants available at the moment, so we don't have a lot to spend it on. Get him. Oh my god. The whole team. Except Dayum. And only one person hit. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. You should all feel terrible. Go on, Brick. Let's get you your kill. Or not. You know. Missed. Go on, Hanson. Let's get you a kill. There we go. Now we'll just wait for the other one and we'll kill them as well. Is this cheap? Yes. I'm not going to have them jump me while I'm trying to fight shit. I'm not. It's completely unnecessary. And it's exactly what the game wants you to do. And if there's one thing you learn while playing XCOM, it's don't do what the game wants you to do. Resist the game at every opportunity. Because the game does not care about you. It wants you to suffer. Get him. Good. Good. Really, the 23% chance to hit didn't do it? I'm shocked, truly. Go on, Hanson, give it a try. Nice. Now we just take a moment to reload our weapons and get ready, and then we push forward. Don't let the game pressure you. Take your fucking time. In XCOM 2, you can't, because they added fucking mission timers to everything. But in this game, absolutely. Just chill out. Just hang out. Gather yourselves. Get yourselves ready. What's making that noise? It's probably a sectoid. What you got, fuckos? Huh? What you got? A bunch of shit? Yeah, I bet you do. Fucking shit bags. We just give you a cheeky little spot over here. That's good. It's actually not. That's awful cover. That's some of the worst cover I've ever seen, but the aliens aren't here yet, so I think it'll be fine. And if it's not, well, then the game works as intended. I'm tempted to just get these guys to claim the high ground, and then we have the high ground. Let's do it. We'll have two heavies up on the high ground providing covering fire. Sure enough, there they are. It's two sectoids. Surely, surely we're going to be all right. Damn, can apparently already fire, but let's get us some better cover first. Uh, just fucking pop yourself camera. there, shall you? 33%. Probably not going to hit, but let's try. It'd be great if it did. That would have been a cool moment. <laughs> I'd have been thrilled. Brick, you're basically, you've basically got a death wish, so you just run in and do what you can. 41%, that's good. But it didn't work. We'll send Boar up through here. And then next turn... She could use running gun. Next turn, the gunners up there can fire down. They're in trouble. Right, there's only two of them. They're heavily outnumbered and outpositioned. Of course, if they kill my gunners, then this won't be worth it at all. If they kill even one of my heavies, this was not worth it. Taking fire over here. It's fine, it's fine. Because that one over on the left is now in perfect position to be viciously murdered by boar, so that's fun. Get nice and close. We want a 100% chance to hit. Do it. One damage! Are you actually kidding? This must be another one of your hilarious jokes, video game. Just take that one out at least, for fuck's sake. There we go, Hanson got a promotion, that's nice. I like that. Delgado, can you save Boar? Because fucking apparently her shotgun did one damage. 
at point blank range. I thought for a minute she couldn't see it and I was going to get really angry. Kill it. There we go. All objectives complete. That was by the numbers. It was good. I don't think anyone even got wounded because I, I'm not sure. Does the base armor actually add any health technically or is it literally just the standard? But even if someone has been injured, they won't be injured for very long. Okay, two days and four days. That's fine. That's easy. Damn, you got a promotion. What have you got? Sprinter or bring them on. Sprinter, definitely. With aim that high, she could move into any position she needs to be and kill. Hanson, bring them on or will to survive. She's got a lot of aim and damage appears to be an issue. So let's go bring them on. Although should we? She's not exactly... Yeah, no, I think will to survive is better if she stays alive. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I know my decisions. They're good ones. Enrique Ramirez. How you doing, Enrique? His name is Hex. That's a cool name. Headshot. Squad sight, naturally. We'll go opportunist. Let's check like this. Uh, yeah, India is mad. India is very mad. And the entirety of Europe is furious. And we have 11 days until the council report. That's not good. There's a lot that's not good going on right now. You're gonna have to hope for a lucky mission because even if we managed to start building the satellite uplink right now, we would not get it up in time. Because I'm pretty sure it takes like two weeks to build or something. But we do have the foundry. We could probably work with that. Tactical rigging is great. Tactical rigging is so good. That's why it's so fucking expensive. But maybe we can bullshit this. That's 35 bucks. And then you throw a little bit of that. That's 75 bucks. And then, uh, we're kind of running out of things now. Um, two of those, one of those, two of those. That's 100 bucks. We, and we, when we do eight of those, and three of those, and that's 130. And then we'll do three, three, three. It's 175. And then we do five. Five. That's 200 bucks. There we go. And now we can get tactical rigging. It's going to take seven days, but being I'll able to carry two to items will be incredible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Echo's still... Oh. Priority one transmission coming in from the council. Oh, it's this mission. Interesting. A member of the Triad Criminal Organization has reached out to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly has in his possession a piece of unique technology. We will need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. The reward is two scientists, two engineers, and 200 supplies. If we complete this mission, we can build a satellite uplink immediately. This could save India. This could actually save India. But we need to complete the mission. We need to be successful. So best squad is what Excellent. we're going to need. We look forward to seeing your progress. Oh my god, I just looked at Ramirez's aim. First of all, nice. Second of all, it's terrible. Hansen is more accurate and she's a corporal heavy. What excuse do you have, Ramirez? This is pathetic. Unfortunately, this is the best squad I can I can put forward. Jesus Christ, man, your will's not even that good. Delgado has more will. Yamazaki has more will and almost more aim. Look at Hansen. Hansen has the same amount of will as Ramirez and more aim. There's no excuse to be this pathetic. God damn it. <laughs> He's another soldier, I guess. Fuck, man. This mission might actually go really badly. All right, yeah, Williams is here because Boar couldn't make it. He uses a shotgun. He does not need a scope, okay? He does not. Hansen... Having a scope will make her especially effective. Ramirez, I think you need a scope, desperately. Otherwise, you're never gonna hit anyone with that sniper rifle. This is the best we got, and that concerns me greatly, but we're gonna have to make it work. If we can complete this mission, two scientists, two engineers, 200 supplies, this will do everything for us. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I'm not feeling confident about this one. I had no real concerns about the previous mission, like that was just a normal alien abduction. I, was, I think it's the first time I said that no one was going to die, or just didn't outright say that someone was going to die. This one? I don't know. I usually complete this mission successfully, but I have failed it before. It comes out of nowhere. It's not an easy mission. Hmm. 
You must be my contacts. No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Nice. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. So Zhang's a fucking badass. I still, to this day, don't understand why he drops the gun. I like to think that he tries to plant the gun on the alien to make it look like self-defense. I think I'm going to get very upset with Hex before this mission is over. Just hide you over there. You'll be nice and safe. Everyone else Overwatch, whatever shows up, we will at least shoot at it. Can't promise we'll kill it, but we'll shoot at it. reports of heavy X reactivity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Sure enough. That's why I put Brick there. I doubt he's gonna kill it, though. See, that's the problem with Overwatch in this game, is that everyone picks one target, regardless of whether it's already technically been killed or not. Come on, Delgado. Oh, yeah. I forgot that she has hollow targeting. She is incredibly useful. Take this nice and slowly. The only good thing about Hex is that his Overwatch shots don't carry a penalty, so job itself seemed trivial. he'll be firing with his maximum level of incompetence no matter what. I'm not taking any risks, we're not rushing this, I don't care that I'm doing a fucking show. We need this mission, we need this mission to go well for a variety of reasons. Brick, there is good cover for you, if you sit behind that cover you'll be practically unkillable. I say practically. Uh, you know, Brick's gonna die someday. He will. And when that happens, I'll accept it, because he's kind of an idiot. I forgot that we had William Williams here today. I love you, William Williams. He's such a fucking Don. I'm not familiar with them going up there. I also didn't know that area existed. Oh god. Hey, we killed it. Good. Hey, you shot it. Good. Good job. Uh, uh, Hex. That's your name. I completely forgot. Thunder, do you think you can take him out as well? That'd be neat. It's always good to let her try first because of her holo targeting. It's brilliant. So that's another two thin men dead. I think we're doing well. I don't think there are that many on this mission. There are quite a few, but not too many. Oh, buddy. That's not a good position. It's not a good position for you. Oh, boy. Wow. You guys are fucking heroes, is what you are. Absolute fucking heroes. Delgado, if you would. Thank you. Wow, she has the least accuracy in the team, and she's killed the most. What does that tell the rest of you? Fucking idiots. Ah, straight up, just a thin man there. We can deal with that, even if he is in heavy cover. So we'll have Delgado start this off. That's fine, she did what she needed to. Alright, Ramirez, let's see if you can snipe him. Go on, bruv, go on. You go on, you go on, you go on, you go on, you go on. You don't go on. That, you didn't get him. If I had to criticize you there, and I do have to criticize you, it's my job, you didn't get him. Go on, Williams. Go on, Williams. You haven't had any big moments in this campaign yet. Let's turn you into a hero. Make sure to switch to his fucking shotgun before uh, firing. Yes, there we go. Now kill it. There we go. Good job, Williams. Hey. He had a cool guy moment. And you gotta respect that. You know who didn't have a cool guy moment? The fancy new sniper sergeant that we got from the last mission. He's done virtually nothing. Got an this is something contact. more dangerous. It's something oh yeah, it's a muton in this version. I think in the original game it was a dum 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 when the brain works. It was a chrysalid. Now it's a big scary. Oh hello, go on guys, take him out. Oh for fuck's sake! How are you the best soldiers we have? How? I can't remember if he went on Overwatch or not. I assume he is. Is he on Overwatch? Thin man. 
It doesn't say anything about him being on Overwatch. But I bet he is. Well, that went fine. Still, we should do what we always do, just in case. Actually, we need Delgado to reload, really. Well, let's... Uh, let's see if let's see if Williams does it. Go on, Williams. Oh my god, it was a 90% chance. No, video game. That's not how this works. Straight up is just not how this works. Go on, Brick. You're a tough guy. See, he's a tough guy. And I'm willing to sacrifice him. Now, Brick. Kill it. There we go. Good job. And he got a promotion. Maybe he'll be less shit. Who knows? Uh, Zhang, I'm scared for you. So we're just gonna we're just gonna move you away from everyone. Move you back a little bit. Mutons do carry grenades. It's not good. If Hansen can clip that fucker on his way in. Which she didn't. Okay, please don't kill anyone. Jesus Christ. Where are you, Delgado? We're gonna need you. We're gonna need you. We're gonna need you. I'm gonna need her to mark the target. A 6% chance. You know what? I'm actually going to, um... I'm gonna have Brick destroy its cover first. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Go on, Brick. Excellent. I thought for a minute that our soldiers actually couldn't see the fucking thing anymore, despite the fact we had removed the thing obstructing it from our vision. I don't trust this game. Oh wow, Delgado killed it. Well, look at that. Well, look at that. Isn't that just a pickle peach? It is. I answer my own question. It's because I already knew the answer. It's going to be a sectoid, I'm pretty sure. Look. Oh, it's a thin man. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's a thin man and a sectoid. Okay, I remember now. Yes, yes indeed. Oh, nice. Wow, well, that car exploded. That sectoid must be pretty scared. See, I like Delgado because even when she misses, it's good. Because she's still doing what I need her to do. Come on, Ramirez. One, one proper kill, please. Just one. Just one. Just one. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Well done very happy with you. The sniper sniped something, and I am thrilled. All we need to do is get Zhang to extraction and we should be good. There it is. Excellent. I am alive, but the life I had is gone now. Funny that my life should take such an unexpected path. Turning my back on old friends to defeat a common enemy. We did it. The device and oh, our contact yeah. are secure. Get back to HQ for debriefing. Ten kills, no casualties, and we got a new soldier, as well as the more important rewards, which may allow us to save India. Maybe. Actually, how many satellites do I have? That's a good point. If I don't have enough satellites. I might have to delay getting the interrogation autopsy bonus in South America just to make sure that India stays in the project. Which wouldn't be so bad because we'd be working towards getting the regional bonus for Asia as well. So we'll have to we'll have to evaluate the situation. Elsa got a promotion, she's a captain now. Flush could be really good for Thunder because she already has hollow targeting, right? Which means whatever she shoots at, she confers aim bonuses to all of our allies. If she does flush, which means she's more likely to hit him, so she'll do a bit of damage, but not much. But more to the point, she'll force them to run out of cover. So not only will the enemy be out of cover, but they'll be easier to hit as well, which means we'll surely be able to kill them. That would be great for her. She's got 11 kills, how? Her accuracy is shit. Her will is incredible though, for what it's worth. Her will is insane. Brick. I mean, not many of these skills really do much for you, pal. Sentinel? Well, your aim's not very good, so what's the point? I guess Danger Zone. Just making sure he can hit multiple people with rockets would be good. Yeah, fuck it. And Hilda has been provided to Hansen her 
her fucking cool cool sign is Big Mama. I like you, Hilda Hansen. You're my favorite. She's not my favorite favorite. I just I just like her. You know, I like all, all of these soldiers. They're all doing very well. Get a shredder rocket. We got the urban combat badge. We got a bunch of stuff, including a muton corpse, which is amazing. Two scientists, two engineers, two hundred supplies, will be and uh, Lieutenant Shaoji Zhang. Shaoji, he's he's Zhang. Zhang is awesome. His aim is actually really good, and his will is pretty high as well. We'll give him rapid re reaction. We'll give him resilience, so he never gets crit, and low profile. Excellent. So he's the perfect defender. If anyone tries to shoot at him when he's in cover, they might hit him, they're gonna have a hard time killing him. And when he's on Overwatch, he can shoot twice if he hits the first time. Good shit. Looking forward to seeing you in action, Zhang. We have so many heavies. We need to work fast and we need to work right now. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We need that. Let's see. 14 days. How long till the next council report? I don't think I'm gonna like this answer. 10 days. It's too late. It's too late. We'll lose India. That's not Satellite the end of the world, to be honest. At maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. It is frustrating because it means we can ne we will never be able to get the Asia regional bonus, but it's not the end of the world. There is also a very small chance that they will not pull out of the XCOM project with maximum panic. Very small. It has happened for me before and I was amazed. I couldn't believe it. But there is a chance they won't pull out. If I get the satellite uplink, I'm not going to be able to get the lift. Okay, so this was doomed from the start then. I just didn't know it. Oh well. We'll reserve that space. Oh, maybe we could even use that. Although I'd kind of want a power generator there so I could get the steam benefits. But, eh, eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. We're doing alright. We're still doing fine. If we lose India, it's actually not a big deal. We could really do a... So that's a point, because we're going to get a council report. We're making 170 per month. Maybe we should try investing in some of these foundry projects. Like, getting shivs could be handy. Scope upgrade is always good. Improved pistol is handy. These are all... I'm going to get the heavy weapons platform. Yeah. The foundry is already worn and then we'll save the rest of our money. And our gene modification is complete. the threshold of a new kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. Now, as we learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. I love how dramatic all that is, but bear in mind, all we did for Lauren Thomas is give her depth perception. Yeah, very a very useful thing. Like, if you gave a real person enhanced depth perception, that'd be awesome. But not a, not a game changer, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is actually all that and a bag of chips, but I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Feel free to do so, but all of this... A bit unnecessary for just tweaking her eyes a little bit. But, you know, it's still good. We'll keep this one short and sweet, and we'll leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. A lot has happened. We didn't lose anyone, it just occurred to me. I don't even need to check the memorial this time, because no one died. Amazing. Oh, we're going to end this episode by buying squad size two. Now we can field squads of six. So this is going to go a lot easier. This is just going to go a lot better in general. But before I get any more distracted, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Things went well today. Important things happened. I mean, the, the fucking alien abduction was completely... That was minor. You know, that was just an operation like any other. We got Hex out of it. Great. Not a big deal. But being able to complete friends in low places, getting those extra engineers, scientists, and supplies... I think is really going to make a difference. The The concerns I had at the end of the last episode have pretty much been resolved. It's a shame that we're probably going to lose India. It's not certain, but it's very likely that we're going to lose India. But whether or not we lose India is something you'll have to find out next time once again.
Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and India is going to pull out of the XCOM project. That's pretty much all I can confirm. But I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. Thank you.